Manisha here, and welcome to the Indie Game Spotlight. I'm just kidding, I made that up right now. Bruh. But I have been asked by the creators of Space Chef to play the pre-alpha of their game. So who knows, this might become a thing. So this will be a let's play of Space Chef, but as a game developer myself, I'll try to include that perspective and look at some of the game design decisions they made. We'll see. Why don't we check out the Kickstarter page real quick and then jump straight into the game. So here we have the Kickstarter page and the Kickstarter will be ending on November 18th. So if you're interested in supporting, definitely go and back the project as soon as you can. So a quick description of the game is that it's an open world, open galaxy game combining fun cooking, crazy crafting, gun blasting action, and anything but your usual farming. Explore a vast procedural generated universe that is different each playthrough. Meet and interact with interesting humans and aliens. Nice. So these are some of the games that inspired them. And we can take a look at the team as well since they reached out to me personally. So Niklas, I think he reached out to me to play it. Uh, Tobias and Tanya. So three person team making a big game. Always exciting. I actually already backed it because I've been following some of the progress over on Twitter and it's been looking spectacular. I'm really excited to give the pre-alpha a try, but it definitely looks right up my alley. The art looks fantastic. It's gonna be good. So that's the Kickstarter page. Let's get started on the game. Looks like it's made in Unity. Howdy chef, so you're crazy enough to try the pre-alpha version of Space Chef. Alright, so keep in mind that this is a pre-alpha of the game and I'm hoping to complete a big chunk of the main gameplay loop. Uh, they want me to mention that it's far from completion and there might be some bugs, but hopefully we don't encounter any. And of course there's going to be way more content in the game than what I'm going through, especially since they met so many stretch goals. So look forward to that. Good morning, chef! Hey Chippy, what's new? I heard some strange noises in the basement. The snapper plant seems to be in a bad mood, but the weather is fine. Mmm, anything else? In a few seconds, a bunch of orders will come in. You need to see if you have the ingredients you need and start making them. Where can I find the ingredients? Look around in the base, and if you can't find it here, you need to scooter to Cyclo... Cyclonia. Cyclonia. Thanks, Chippy! Man, look at this art. I love how vibrant it is. There's a small label on the inside. Exit only. Better be accurate. Comfortable toilet. Broom. This is the perfect weapon against ratoids. Good thing my home doesn't have any. Ratoids. Should we click it? Sleep? Are you serious? Closet. Chef hat. Can we wear it? Sweet. A Rubik's Cube. What a cozy little room. What is, where is that light coming from? Strange lights. Okay. Oop. What was that? Order one. Space fries. Suck butt. Morning, chef. Got something you'd like for me to clean? Shipyard. Oh, my schedule is very busy today, but I'll try to squeeze it in. Okay. A plastic bottle. Ooh, gas gun. A plastic bottle, some junk, duct tape, and a canister of gas. Perfectly safe. Crates. Bread. Sweet potato. Oh, sweat potato. Quinoa. <laughs> nice. Fryer. Grill. Freezer. The freezer is starting to look empty. Too bad there is no supermarket around here. Orions, cheese, bok choy, cucumber. Q 
cucumber orients. I like how bok choy is just like spelled normally. Let's see if there's something that we can make. So, oh, our first order is space fries. Like regular fries, but the word space to make them sound cooler. <laughs> nice. So we do have the sweat potatoes. Where were they? There we go. Oh, I need to chop it first. So it was two. Oops. Open up the fryer. Put her in. Oh, what? Oh. No, they burn it. Okay. Wait a second. Shop. I love the UI. Like, everything seems so natural. The fryer. So let's not let it burn this time. I guess you take it out when it's green. 86. Looks like I got five stars. So I think we're doing okay. Let's make some space fries. Oh, yeah. There were space fries. Now what? Soup disaster. Sheesh, what happened here? This looks like a job for Suckbot. Oh yeah, Suckbot. You can clean the kitchen, right? Sorry, chef. Can't hear you. It's so noisy in here. Ha. Huh. Okay. Goo machine. This machine looks dead. Workbench. Oh, rats. Where's my blueprints book? Uh, whoops. I missed that. Did I leave it in the basement? Okay. We also have to... How did I chop the, uh... The sweet potatoes without a knife. What's down here? Ooh. This guy's oh my. Wait, do I take damage? I don't see any health bars, so I think we're fine. Plant box. There's a tomato seed in there, but it needs water to grow. Water. Water blaster. Do I have limited ammo or water? Oh, it's like equipping and unequipping. Let's put some soil in here. I need to equip the soil. Put her in. Orion seeds. What's this? Ah, gotta always love that pickup sound. It's so satisfying. Um, so seeds. Put her in. And... Come on. How do I know if it's actually been watered? Does it show up darker? I guess it shows up darker. Plant box. R and B. Whatever that means. Wait. Did something happen there? Oh! Wait, is it growing? Or is it just growing with time? Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, sweet. So. Unequipped, unequipped. Let's see. Sweet. So I guess we got some extra ingredients. Wait, did they say I can use my broom as a weapon? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, also we have an order. Maybe we should go do something about that. Uh, let's do something about this order. Is this a basement? Bite root. Let's grab some of that. Spooky. 
I like how there's no music down here. Very eerie. Incredibly hard to see lover. Finally, some light, but what's that squeaking noise? Ugh. Look at this. I like the glowing tail, though. What can we do about these guys? The good news is, I found my blueprints book. The bad news is, it's totally chewed up. Plant box. It's a box that you can plant things in. Ratoid trap. How ironic. The ratoids didn't eat this blueprint. It must be a sign. Oh my god. Okay. Woo! Corner you! Get cornered! Am I hitting him? Oh, okay. Do I even need this? Kinda gross. I love this chill music. And there's so much space in here to like explore. So many different rooms. And each place is memorable. Kitchen, gardening, sleeping. And then, what's this? Order number two, bite root blend. Okay, oh, we should probably finish this or deliver this, right? Oh, I've seen screenshots of this. This is like uh, outer space where everyone lives, I guess. Um, so, Billy, Rusty Town. Oh my god, we only have six minutes. Okay. Another order? Okay, Billy! I'm glad we don't like take damage. Where's my order? Where's my order? Didn't we make it? I swear we made it. Wait, didn't we make fries? Okay. Hold up. We gotta go back home. We have a situation. The fries. Oh, two fries? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, can we run? We gotta hurry. Oh, shift. Shift does the trick. Yeah, everything's like really intuitive so far with um, all the controls. Really like that. Okay, we need more sweat potatoes. Please let me have more. Okay. Fries, fries, fries. Okay. Who is it? Billy in Rusty Town. Let's do this thing. Man, this spaceship is, like, pretty hard to control. <laughs> A little chaotic. Um, where are we going? Billy. I'm glad we we get, um, indicators here. Or else I would be very confused. Even if we had a map, I'd be confused. So, these indicators are very helpful. Um... I wonder if there's anywhere like you can go inside or are these just people to deliver to? And what is this? Steel drill. Oh, we're going a little too fast here. Nah. What's this? Mega blaster. Oh, sweet. Break these. I don't think it's doing anything to the asteroids. All right, let's go back home. We have two new orders, it seems. Bite root blend and rainbow salad. If I could just calibrate the alpha vector of the injection nozzle. Interesting. Cooking games are always so fun, because there's so much room for a variety of different recipes with different ingredients and how you get the ingredients. It's just like, the gameplay is always fun. 
Um, what are we making? Bite, uh, bitterroot blend. Okay. I need to use the blender for this. Okay. Oh, finally, we get to use the blender. Two bite root, one water. Blender up. Whew. A little bouncing animation. Perfect. I can't believe I wasted my sweat potatoes. Okay, should we go deliver this? I think it's ready. Oh, it says it's ready, so. Rainbow salad. Let's see if we can do two orders at the same time. Rainbow salad. Bluegrass, cucumber, bok choy, tomatoes chopped. So I'm pretty sure we have most of those. Let's chop some tomatoes. One, one bok choy, one cucumber. Yeah, I knew I saw the cucumber. One bok choy. Bluegrass, was it? Bluegrass was the last one. And I don't think I saw it anywhere yet. I love this chill music. So relaxing. I wish this showed up so that you can tell that you're actually doing something. It took me a while to realize. Alright. Wait, we didn't need more tomatoes. We need bluegrass. A plastic bottle. Maybe I can craft a weapon out of this. Plastic bottle. I like how we're just like forging recyclable plastics. Where are we gonna get bluegrass? I saw this. Oh, where can I find ingredients? Look around in the base and if you can't find it here, you need to s take your scooter to Cyclonia. Oh, okay. Thanks, Chippy. Oh, okay. Wait. So we, I don't think there is bluegrass here, so we're gonna have to go look for it, I guess. Like this fog. Oh, what the? Wait a second. I knew he shot at me. That's payback. <laughs> ah, where am I even going? I'm so glad I don't take damage or else I'd be done this game by now. Game over. Cyclone- Oh! So bright! Is that the sun? It's the only bright thing around here. So it might be the sun. I, I always love that like country music style paired with a deserted planet. I did something similar in one of my games. Dude, we do not have any weapon. You're gonna get broomed. <laughs> Literally squishing these little alien bugs. I'm sorry. Dig bug nest. It's dangerous out here. Oof. I'm taking damage, but I don't know how much health I have. Which is kind of like real life, if you think about it. Ooh! Wait a second. What is this? Blue grass? Shoo! Oh my god, they're so creepy. They're like half giraffe, half rooster or something. Let's approach them. Let's chase them. Graffle meat. Oh, snaps. Wait, is this a weapon? That's brutal. I guess I can't do that. Oh. Might as well take them all. I think, uh, I think we did enough here. My ship, where are you? Okay, 
Scooter. It's called a scooter. Ooh, gold. Okay. A spatula. Good thing we came exploring this way. Oh! <gasps> Bell poppers! Nice! We found. Wait, is it getting dark or is it just me? I think it is. I love the combinations like chopping, grilling. So much to do. Ooh. You cannot leave that unattended. Or else it's over. I guess we'll go deliver this one. Zoe. Zoe! I have your gumbo! Boom. Thanks, sweetie! Looks like we're making a lot of money, but I don't I don't know where the money goes. Straight in straight into the bank account, I guess. Oh, what's this? Good old Betty. Only use in case of emergency. Guess this is an emergency. Shotgun? Oh man. Where were you when I needed you? And a whacker. Oh man, I forgot to check these cupboards. Nitrogen gas. Where do we get that? We don't really need... Here. A shotgun. Damn! Probably shouldn't kill all of them though. Maybe just one. What's this? Are you gonna die? I think he's just invincible. Oh boy. Aww. What have I done? No! It was too cute. I shouldn't have killed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I can't craft that. The developers say it's too buggy. That's all good. I wish I had the nitrogen gas so that I can at least build one thing. Can't seem to find it though. But yeah, I think we'll call it here. I think we covered the main gameplay mechanics like uh, planting, farming, cooking and building and traveling of course exploring the other planet there's so much going on and every all the artwork is so well done and like just minor details like this like the sparks or just the stars and the fog or the clouds add so much to the game so hope you guys enjoyed that playthrough i was more focused on actually playing the game than commentating sorry i'm kind of new to this I felt so immersed in the world, especially with the brilliant art and the music that came together. Everything felt juicy, the art was clean and vibrant and unique in its own way. You almost feel like it could be its own television show. I feel like I could see something like that on Netflix. And for almost every action, there was a lot of animation. Every single movement felt really good. And it wasn't just movement, it was, there was attacks, and even the aliens had their own set of animations, and I'm sure that is a lot of work. Honestly, it's so impressive that three people can pull something like this off, and it makes me really proud to see that, and I just love it, and it gives me hope as well. There was a lot of exploration as well, and I can see that this game has a lot of room to grow in terms of gameplay. Every aspect, whether it was cooking, farming, building, and collecting items, 
I can see that there is room for expansion there. Collecting recipes, collecting different types of items, building things, and it's just gonna build on top of that and get more challenging. I'd love to see more dialogue with the people in space because it did feel a little bit lonely and the dialogue was kind of limited. So something there would be nice. Uh, I didn't really look at the stretch goals, but maybe you guys have something to do with that. There was so much going on, the different planets. You can add more planets if they wanted to. There's so much room for growth in this game. And I'm so excited to see what they do by the next demo and by the end of their actual um, development period. It's going to be so exciting to see the final product. So good luck to you guys on the final stretch of the Kickstarter. Can't wait to see what you guys do and looking forward to playing the final version. So if you haven't already and you can afford it, make sure to check out the Kickstarter page, especially since it's wrapping up soon. And yeah, that's about it from me. If you do have a game that you want me to play, of course, I am super open to that and I hope that I can play more indie games in the future. That's all from me. I'll catch you in the next one.